Now, having spent years either singing or working behind the scenes, two industry titans are now giving a shot at acting. Even if you're the sentimental type, most of us might not be inclined to share our past in front of thousands of people. But that's exactly what opera singer Tian Hao Jiang and TV producer Wang Wei Zhong did in their new play, The Past Is Only to Recall. The two artists performed at Beijing's NCPA, playing themselves as they relived their past on stage. Julian Wagen has the story. An autobiography played out on stage. A renowned Chinese opera singer reveals for the first time how his vocal talent was first discovered. But the play, the past is only to recall, is more than just an expose of the artist's tumultuous rise to fame. In this play, the mainland opera singer teams up with Taiwan TV producer Wang Wei Zhong for an intimate account of how their lives have diverged and crossed paths again and again on both sides of the strait. It's about five years ago. I was I was in Taipei. Um, I was. Uh, uh, in a rehearsal of a, a contemporary opera, uh, actually uh, in Taipei, and uh, a friend introduced me to uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Wei Zhong, uh, Wang. So we found out it's very interesting because uh, his father was uh, in the army, and uh, my father was in the army too, but a different army. Okay, so they were separated, they, and uh, so I think it's very interesting because of the fate. So put me and Wei Zhong together to meet and to put this show together. So this is life. If life at first glance cannot seem more distant for Wei Zhong than that from Tian Haojian. Wang Wei Zhong is a successful and enormously popular TV and theater producer in Taiwan, but he has always held on to his roots. His parents left Beijing for Taiwan in 1949 and settled with many other mainland migrants in a village called Zhuanquan, where Wei Zhong was born and raised. For many years, Wei Zhong has been on a mission to tell the stories of his family and of the villagers of Zhuanquan. <laughs> My parents went to Taiwan in 1949, but actually the entire country was going through a lot of migration. The story of Zhuanquan is especially important. The village itself is gone now, so as a second generation of Zhuanquan and as someone who lives on the other side of the strait, I have the urge to tell this story, especially now that I'm getting old. It's not necessarily a tragedy. There's so much joy and life drama in it, too. And it's not hard to empathize or be completely absorbed in the play, as the two artists literally pour out their hearts and souls to tell the true stories of their lives. Even though Wang Wei Zhong has never acted or been formally trained as an actor, his frankness and commitment to the role makes him the perfect candidate for the part. And things have also been emotional behind the stage for opera singer turned actor Tian Hao Jian. After all, he's telling his own life story in the play, and you can't exactly walk away from your life, even if you walk off of the stage. The reason I really enjoyed this experience is because I think the stage is the very important for, for an artist is to share the stage share your feelings, to share your stories with your audience. It's very important. And of course in operas, you know, play a nobleman and the duke and the something. You 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 know, you have your 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 feelings from uh, from uh, artistic point of view, you know, this uh, where this opera, this uh, Puccini's and uh, the music, there's a melody and uh, something. But for this, it's just heart to heart, you know, with the audience.
The past is only to recall is part of the 2014 Theater Olympics. Since 1995, the Theater Olympics have been held five times in Greece, Japan, Russia, Turkey, and South Korea. China won the right to host the sixth edition this year, and 45 theater pieces from home and abroad will be staged at venues across the capital. Julian Wakan, CCTV.